All right, this is level two, number two. And uh, it's actually not too difficult a question once you remember, if you've seen some of the other hint videos I gave on some of the bomb questions, when you're dealing with vectors, uh, remember that certain vector triangles can be drawn, uh, especially when you uh, have the sum of the vectors equaling zero. So essentially here we're looking at the total momentum before equals the total momentum after. So beforehand we have a five kilogram object, it's moving at 40 meters per second at zero. So, sorry, four meters per second. So five times four is 20. So let's do the MV, 20, and at zero degrees. So there's the momentum of that first object. Well, afterwards it's going to split into two. And it says that the two are moving at equal speeds of eight meters per second. So the mass is 5, so 5 times 8 is 40. So we're going to have two pieces. One is 40, but we don't know the direction. And the other will be another 40, but we don't know its direction. So what we're going to do is take this and move this 20 to the other side, leaving us with 0 on this side. 40, some unknown direction, plus 40, some other unknown direction. Now. It'll be minus 20 at zero when we move it over, but the way you do minuses with vectors is by reversing them by 180 degrees. So minus 20 at zero is the same as adding 180. So 20 at 180 degrees. Right? Remember that trick. Okay, now remember, when you add vectors, you draw them tip to tail, and they form triangles. So watch what happens if I take all these vectors and add them up. If I start here and I go 20 this way at 180 degrees, the next one and the next one, the two 40s, have to be added tip to tail to this one. But what's interesting is they have to get me back to where I started because of the zero. So it doesn't really matter how I draw them. Because they're both the same, wherever I go, it's going to form I have to get back where I started. It's going to form an equilateral triangle. Right? Now, I don't know any of the angles, but with all three sides, I can use trig. I can use cosine law uh, or, or sine law. And I can figure out the angles of the triangle. And once I figure those out, I will now know the directions that I need to use for each of those 40, 40 uh, sides. So the trick here is to draw it like this, set it up, use your sine and cosine law here to figure out what the directions will be. And you really don't have to do a whole lot of math. You're just, uh, just doing sine and cosine law. You don't even have to solve this. You don't have to come to a final answer.